Here's a look of the landing gear of the SR-71, up close. Here you can see the three tires. The two inner tires has uh, brake lines that goes to one main line. And at this SR-71, the brake line's on the outside of this bracket, and it should be on the inside. And then over here, this brake line goes to the single outer tire. The brake lines go up the strut, here this one goes to the two inner tires and the pipe is missing and notice that it's got a pivot for the brake lines to pivot and this apparatus I don't know what it is it has some lines going up and they go up the back side over here and you can see the pipe is wrapped around about 12 times here and another pipe over here that's smaller is wrapped around 10 times so that when the landing gear pivots up this has a, acts like a, a mild spring, and I don't know why they're using this instead of a pivot like they do for the brakes, but that's an interesting observation. If we look back in the back of the wheel well, you can see this is where the tire was when it was retracted, and you can see some of the insulation that was in there. Here's a bracket that keeps this door locked up. And another bracket that keeps the same door locked up. And here's some wires. Here you can see the corrugated titanium skin. And when I touch it, it is really not that hot. Here it's in Florida and it's a bright sunny day, about 70 degrees. And I thought this would be a lot hotter than it actually is. So if you're facing the SR-71 facing forward, which is that direction, this is the left-hand tire. And over here, you can see both of the brake lines actually do go within this bracket. And then one of the brake lines goes into this device. I don't know what it does. It'd be interesting to find out. But this is a brake line right here. And this is a brake line and they go up to these pivots, but some, this thing, which is also connected to the brake lines, has these smaller pipes that go up here to these wraparound type of devices. I don't know why it's different, I'd like to find out. And what's interesting is the back side of, or the rear side of this on both sides of the aircraft is kind of worn, but on that side it's not. Be interesting to find out why.